Boa noite. Espero que você tenha uma boa dia. Good evening. I hope you guys had a great day today. I wanted to talk really briefly about a movie that I went and saw yesterday at the behest of my really, really good friends. I have one uh, that is Nigerian and one that is Trinidadian and uh, very successful individuals. Um, they're doing amazing stuff here. And we always try to get together and hang out and do stuff. And so they, one of them, uh, my buddy Kay, he was like, look, man, let's just get together, uh, go see Wakanda forever. Let's see what all of the hoopla is about. And I heard, heard mixed reviews about it. Um, but of course I didn't really give it that much attention because I didn't think, I mean, I, I, I didn't think I would go see it. But when he sent the text and was like, look, I already paid for the tickets, man. Let's, let's put on our African attire and let's go check it out. Uh, I, I remember getting a, a custom made African uh, top and bottom fit to Shiki. Uh, from Nigeria in 2012 when I was there well my buddy uh E I'll call him E he just got back from Nigeria my buddy that's the Nigerian he brought all of us some some custom fitted tops so if you look on my social media page you'll see the guys that I'm telling you about and they were there and, and so we all went and we hung out and the the first thing that I that I I, I witnessed as I walked into the the theater it was kind of dark but the majority of people didn't like me and maybe that's probably because of kind of where we stay. Um, but, you know, I was like, okay, well, you know, it's, it's action kind of Marvel type thing. A lot of people are not really into that. Um, and then I saw, you know, a lot of sisters, some that were dressed in like African attire, but you know, it was neither here or there. Cause I'm just, you know, I'm there, you know, we got something to eat, something to drink. And we sat down really cool theater. They built in this area. It's got the recliners, the vibrating heated seats. They serve you food, drinks, all of it's pretty dope. And as I watched the movie, incrementally, I saw men being phased out of positions of power and dominance. And the ones who were there were so evil, where it kind of represented what a lot of feminists complain about with men, and that is toxic masculinity. But then when the females kind of incrementally move the guys out of the way you were left with these kind of I don't want to say spineless but docile esque type dudes that were very acquiescent to what the, the woman would, would want to be and of course you know the, the woman eventually the women were the heroes so the men were just kind of like phased out from a position of dominance to a permanent status of being subservient and so I was reading a whole lot of stuff into that and, my, and, and so I thought okay so are they trying to switch roles saying that men were domineering and this you know argumentative and toxic and then putting the women in that position um, and I'm not taking anything away from the actors it was very well uh, acted Lupita did a great job and the other uh, Angela Bassett she did an excellent job so everyone involved even the the spot that michael b came in everybody did a great job uh but when i when i really peeped the storyline i realized you know what um I, I don't know if if somebody is trying to to either purposely send a message or if they're carrying on with a message that is constantly being seen or a sent uh throughout society and what's that we need to phase out their men and let the women take charge. Because after all, they have the strength. They should be the dominant ones because they're the smartest ones. Even the brainiac in the movie was 19, a 19 year old female. And uh, I don't wanna spoil anything for anybody, uh, but if you have kind of heard what I'm saying right now, that's kind of the, prim that's, that's the movie, basically. Again, it was well acted. Uh, well, you know, the, the actors, they did a great job. But I don't think that's something that um, a masculine guy would look, look at and and not come away with a sense of, a new, I guess, not really insult, but it's kind of like you feel a slight after, after watching that movie because you realize the, the very people that represented us, the very character, characters 
that represented masculinity, they were all gone. And the only characters that did mascul represent masculinity were the, the toxic kind. Uh, and the ones that remain were, do were docile uh, to the point to where you didn't really know if masculinity was there. So I don't know. I, I, I'm not telling anybody not to go see it. I mean, you know, you do what you need to do with your money. Uh, you know, I went as, as me and my buddies, we, we normally do. We get together, we pick and choose and we do things. And um, I was... Hmm, I walked out of it and, and it's, it's crazy because we were kind of like comparing notes I was like man do you notice all of the guys are being phased out all of the women are in position of dominance and power and the guys are just kind of sitting back saying yes you know like is it just me or, or and and you know we and, you know during the film comparing notes it's like yeah that's exactly what's being that's that that's what's uh, that's that's what's happening so in any event, um, you know, go see it at your at your own, I don't want to say risk of peril, but go just go see it if, if it's something that you want to do. But as I said, and as you hear a lot of content creators uh, from this space talk about it, that's kind of the gist of it from a standpoint of, of, of who we are, what we are, and what we're supposed to represent, and how it is basically just kind of like dwindled down to a frazzle. Uh, to a very docile, subservient, and emasculated position. In any event, this is your man Larry, the American Brazilian, saying follow, come, say, my stage, at the Brave, Everdash. <laughs>